Hey everybody, it's me David. Today we're back on CSGO and we're going to be doing the Challengers Pick'em uh, for the Major that's coming up, the Katowice 2019. It's coming up really, really fast and um, I kind of want to give you guys my opinion on uh, the Challengers stage. Now, I'm pretty confident in what I'm going to pick here. I'd highly recommend it, uh, but we're not only going to be doing the Pick'em, I'm going to actually explain my Pick'em. Um, so in a second here, I'm actually going to open up uh, the go to gamers like CSGO rankings go through uh, the matches and kind of show you guys why I'm picking All right, everybody. So let's start out So I'm gonna be opening up go to gamers right in front of your screen right here, and we're gonna kind of go through um, Each team and why they should be placed there now I might have to take this on and off the screen a little bit because it's pretty uh, Invasive, but we'll see everybody. Let's start off with the fairly obvious ones. These are the teams that are pretty much dead set on going. So those are basically the first five here. Fnatic, Energy, Cloud9, Nip, and Ents. Those are for sure either making it 3-0 or at least like 2-1 in my opinion. So let's quickly go through each of them. Um, Fnatic, where is Fnatic on here? Now they've been pretty dominant. You can see here they've beaten G2 recently. They've beaten Cloud9, Complexity, They've basically only lost to Liquid, which is the second best team in the world, and Cloud9, which obviously they were on a, real, a little roll earlier this year. So I'm not going to talk too much about Fnatic because it's basically kind of dead set. So I'm just going to go ahead and probably put them there for now. I'm going to be doing the 3-0 and the 0-3s probably at the end here. So let's go next to NRG. Once again, uh, let's go over here. They're sixth on here. If we look, they beat uh, Furia, which is the Brazilian team. Envious, which isn't that good. Um, Bravado, which isn't that good. Imperial, which isn't that good. Singularity, which isn't that good. Intact. And they lost to Ghost. But earlier, they did beat North and Hellraisers, which is kind of good. Of course, they lost to MIBR and Liquid because they're really good. But... <clears throat> So this doesn't really say too much about them, but I can tell you for a fact that they're pretty good. Compared to a lot of these other teams, they are pretty good. So this is going to be kind of like one of those picks, which a lot of people actually have energy as the 3-0, because coming into um, the challenger stage, like where they qualified, they did really, really well. I think they went basically through the entire tournament at once. So for now, I'm going to be putting energy here. Let's go to Cloud9. So obviously they won the major a little bit ago. They had a little bit of a dream run. Um, so recently they've beaten Big, FaZe, uh, and Fnatic. And they also lost to Astralis, which is the best team in the world, and FaZe Clan. But they did beat them earlier. So this is pretty good right now. You can see they've beaten a couple of the top teams, Fnatic, FaZe, and Big. And my phone keeps going off. They've beaten quite a bit of the higher teams. But just the fact that they're kind of cloud nine, you can never, they, you know, they're good. They're especially compared to things like Windstrike and Greyhound. Like they're fairly set where they're like, okay, so this is a team that's going to go at least to the group stage. It's just kind of one of those things. So I'm going to go ahead and put cloud nine there. So next is Nip. So this one is kind of, this is probably one of the ones that in my opinion could be one of the easiest upsets. They've lost against Astralis, Navi, MIBR, Astralis, Cloud9, and FaZe, which are basically all of the top teams. Um, but again, you guys got to remember, obviously in the group stage and the champion stage, if Nip were there, I wouldn't count them because they've just lost to everyone. But you do have to take, in fact, this is only the challenger stage. So they're going to be facing people like Vanguard and Spirit. Like, they're not, they're not facing MIBR, Navi, and Astralis yet. They're facing, obviously, NRG. People like Maus, at least at skill level, North, and they've shown here that they've beaten all of them. So as of this moment, NIP 100% is going to come out of this. Now Ents, which is actually the person at first that put as a 3-0, we'll see who I put 3-0 now, but if we go over here, as of this moment, they're actually number 3 on the rankings. Uh... Huh, <laughs> that's that's not supposed to happen. Okay, so I guess we'll be using HLTV for this one. Uh, so we've got here the opponents, which none of these are very, very big. So North, uh, Indigo, Heroic, LDLC. 
But uh, this, I think, it might be off the screen. But they did beat North. They beat Wendigo. They beat Heroic. They beat LDLC, except for one map. Um, they beat BG2. They beat Optic. They beat Red Reserve. And this is another one of those teams that um, completely like flew through the the qualifications. They went 3-0. So Ents 100% is going to make it at least through here. And they might be a potential pick for 3-0. So we'll just wait until we get to that. Next, we've got Vitality. Let's see if I'm actually able to click. And real quick, just, I know this is kind of on screen. This is what we have so far. I know I kind of have been like on and off and you guys can't see what I'm doing. This is what we got so far. Now let's go over to Vitality. So we got Vitality here as 7 They've got a pretty good track record right now. Who's on this team? We got NBK, Apex. So this is basically the old Envious that won the Major. Um, they've beaten Chaos, Red Reserve, Hellraiser's Optic. Uh, they beat North, Virtus Pro, is this a core Boars, Pro. So they haven't exactly been facing top tier teams, but they have been doing pretty good. So this definitely has some potential. For now, I am going to put them in there, just for now. And we'll see. So let's move on to G2. Now, I'm going to tell you guys right now, this is my personal opinion. Some people have this in theirs. Some people even have them as a 3-0, which I'm not going to call anyone stupid. But in this case, guys, if, you, if you're going to take my personal, do not put them here. So they lost to 3D Max, they lost to Big, they won against 3D Max and Optic. Uh, they won against Vitality, lost against Fnatic. So they're they're actually like stats wise, they're not doing terrible. <clears throat> They've won their cat past couple games. But I'm just telling you guys right now, this team, it's just they don't cut it. I don't know how to like say it. They just they, they're not good. The maps that they win, they win barely. So yeah, you can see these wins, but they barely win these. And again, now this is personal opinion. They're just such a big choking team too. They just choke. So this is probably the pick that I might get killed for. I'm not I'm not putting G2 on there. Next up, we've got Avangar. So let's take a look at their wins here. So they've won against Heavy Knockouts, uh, Galaxy, Chaos, but they lost against Navi, North. Um, so their wins here, it's basically very lower tier teams. Windstrike and Team Spirit are the only ones that are in here. So this might be another pick where Avangar has the potential to beat the rest of these teams. Not Fnatic, Energy, Cloud9, Nip, or Ents, or Vitality, but they have the potential to beat everyone else. But I just think it's kind of so stacked up against them, especially with the first five teams. So for now, I am not going to be including them. As of this moment, Vongar is not going to be included. So let's take a look at Renegades. But they might be included later. Um, so they've beaten Furia, Vici, Furia, who is this? A Aqueous Club. So they've also won a lot of their past games. They basically have won their last couple games against the lower end teams on here again. So basically in the same position that Avangar is in. So for now we're going to put them as kind of the same with Avangar and wait until later to see. So let's just move on to Vega Squadron. Um, again I saw a couple people put them as 3-0 and a lot of people think that they're going to go through. Um, I'm guessing this is how I would explain it. It's kind of like, uh, oh I should have done that uh, mentality because last major nobody thought they would do anything and then they did really 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 well so people are like well i'm not gonna make the same mistake again they did really well last major so they're gonna do it again um which i think is another pretty stupid mindset if we look here it's basically a downward trend they lost against super 3d max they won against vici but a lot of people are putting them as a 3-0 or 0-3 which we'll talk about later vitality avangar they won against sprout they lost against they won they beat nrg in october Ah, uh, no. I'm sorry. If if Vega Squadron makes it through again, um, my mistake. But I'm not gonna do the same thing as last time. Or well, they did it good last time. No, 
Um, Vegas Squadron, I don't believe that they're going to make it through. So let's move on to Tai Lu. So now we're on to Tai Lu. We can see here they have Oscan Sharks. Uh, they beat Greyhound. They beat, <laughs> they beat Gucci Gang. Um, they lost against Big. They beat Big. Lost against uh, Hella Razors and Heroic. Um, this is potentially a, a pretty good pick to put here. Their loss record isn't very good. Like their their matches aren't very good. They haven't been good recently, but they're kind of like the players that pop off pretty well. So I'm not going to put this one down yet, but it's definitely, definitely a maybe. Let's go on to Team Spirit. So this is another one where it could be um, a decent pick. Again, just like Vega Squadron, nobody thought these guys would actually do pretty well. And the last time they did decent. Um, you can see here they beat Sprout, which isn't much of a thing. They lost against Big, and they beat Windstrike and Furia once. And they beat Gambit, but that doesn't count. So <clears throat> they beat like one or two of the decent teams. Honestly, I don't think it's going to be enough um, to win, so I wouldn't pick them. Next on to Furia, um, this one is definitely a no-go. Do not pick this. Do not Oh, it's another one of those. Okay, so apparently this site is broken. So if we look here, they lost against Hellraisers, they beat Windstrike, they beat Heroic, they lost to Spirit, and they beat Envy. Uh, they lost to NRG, they beat Ints, they beat Envy, United. Um, but these are barely, these are um, very, very close wins, uh, just like, who did I say, G2? These are wins, but they're very, very, like, bare, like, they're, they probably shouldn't have won these. They shouldn't have beat Windstrike, most likely. Heroic, I don't even know how that happened. Team Spirit, you can see it was close, but thank God Spirit won. Um, I don't know. I'm just saying NRG is barely top 10, and that's a definite loss for them. Personal opinion, just don't choose that. Uh, Greyhound Gaming, let's move on to that. And will this let me? All right, so it let me on here. Let's take a look. Um, they won against Vici, but that does not mean anything. They lost two Renegades. They beat MVP. So from just the match records, this is definitely a no-go. But let's take a look at the players. Def ugh, ugh. Um, I would definitely probably say... I know a lot of people probably are not with me on this one. Do not put Greyhound. Do not put Greyhound. Wind Strike. Oh, real quick, I should probably show you guys what I'm working with here. At the moment, this is what we have. We have these six teams and potentially a Vanguard and Renegades. Those are and Tylu. Those are the potentials at the moment. We only have a couple more. So let's take a look at Wind Strike. Man, I had to go to the second page of this just to look at Wind Strike. Um let's take a look. They've lost a lot of matches to lower teams other than Furia. They've beaten Chaos and Havu. This does not look good. Once again, this is a Vega Squadron situation. Last time, everyone was like, nah, they're terrible, and they ended up doing decent. No, this is not the same major. It's a different time. Just because they did well back then doesn't mean they're going to do now. I might be proven wrong, but do not pick Windstrike. Now, let's go on to VC Gaming, which is also on this page because they're terrible. Um, they won against North and MVP. They've lost against everybody else. North is a dumpster team, and MVP doesn't count. And my phone went off again. Look, guys, I don't care what you say. You could say, oh, they beat North. Look, North is not even a team. They're like, I don't know what happened. <clears throat> a couple months ago, they won a huge tournament. Ever since then... They've literally looked like, I don't want to say like pro Roblox players, because they're playing the wrong game, apparently. They're just not good. I, it's hard to even consider like, no, I, I might be going a bit far now, but I, it's like barely hard to even consider like top 50 anymore. Like They're just terrible. They're terrible. Anyway, don't pick these guys. Don't pick them. All right, so let's go ahead and hop back into the actual game. Now, what do we do? So we've already got a couple. I'm actually probably going to like do it on the screen. So Vici Gaming, no. 
Windstrike, no. Greyhound, no. Furia, no. Spirit, no. Telu, maybe. Vega Squadron, no. Renegades, maybe. Avangar, maybe. G2, no. So we've got a couple spots left. Now, what do we pick? So let's kind of switch some things around for now. Let's pick the 3-0 team, and then we can pick what moves down, right? So let's go through the potential best six and kind of decide who would be best for the 3-0. Vitality, no. Um, no. Nip, Cloud9, no. So now we've got Ents, NRG, and Fnatic. Now you guys know my favorite team of all time and favorite team right now is Fnatic. I'm a Fnatic fanboy. So if anyone's making this pick, just remember, it's either Ents, NRG, or Fnatic. If you have anything else in the 3-0, you're kind of risking it. As of this moment, this might be stupid, but... I think I'm gonna go with Ents. I think I'm gonna go with Ents. So now that we've brought down Ents, we've got two spots. And we've got three teams that are able to fill those spots. Avangar, Renegades, and Tyloo. So from my knowledge, I'd probably put Avangar and Renegades here. Uh, yeah. yeah. We can talk about the alternatives that you could put in a second. For now, who would we put as 0-3? That's a different question. So as of this moment, the two teams that I think could go 0-3 is Vega and Vici. And then Furia is a contender. Tyloo is not going to go 0-3. Windstrike and Greyhound are probably, and Team Spirit are probably not going 0-3. Okay, so what I'm going to put is Vega Squadron. So, I know a lot of people aren't going to agree with a lot of these picks, so let's go through what could be changed. Vici Gaming for 0-3, that is like a pretty good chance. So for 0-3, it's either Vega or Vici, those are the two that I would pick. For 3-0, I'm going to say the 3 again, I would. it's definitely either Ents, NRG, or Fnatic. Maybe nip. Dare I say maybe nip? I don't know. I don't I really don't think so. So those are the three that you could change for 03. And at the bottom, <clears throat> Fnatic 100 percent Energy 100 percent Cloud9 nip 100 percent Vitality is like a 90%. And then the things you could change is Avangar and Renegades. Those are the two that are questionable. And <clears throat> if you're gonna switch those two out. The only people that I would switch him out for is Tyloo or Greyhound Gaming. If you're really in the like Asian spirit, you could pick Spirit, maybe. The things that I would 100% stay away from putting on here. Vici, do not put Vici on here. Windstrike, do not put Windstrike on here. So this is going to be my final thing. Also guys, I should mention that the way the silver... Uh, the bronze, silver, and gold uh, works for the coin is different now from all the other majors. And also, they added a diamond tier for this one. So before, you would pick teams in the pick them, and depending on how many you got right, you would get uh, that certain color. But now it's not like that. It's more of like an achievement completion. Um, so half of them are correct picks. So get five correct in the challengers, get five whatever in the legends, get two in the quarters, get one in the semi, and the grand final, each of those gives you one, and then watch at least one challengers, at least one legends, watch quarterfinals, watch semi, watch final. So basically, this is really good and bad. This is good then the fact that everyone has no excuse for getting anything other than a gold. If you're actually watching the major, you should get a gold, no matter what. But that also devalues the gold in the sense that, like, in past majors, I would, like, pray for a gold. That, like, 0 0.05 have the gold, or no, 0.5% 0, 0 has a gold. But now, like, more like 50% are probably going to have the gold. And So, basically, the diamond is the only thing that's actually, like, wow. Yeah, you picked the right grand finals and the right quarterfinals. And souvenirs work differently. There are no more drops anymore. It's... Depending on these, you get to actually pick a souvenir from the specific map. So you actually get to pick a souvenir. This is going to be weird in the sense that you could pick the most expensive souvenirs now, but in that same vein, 
the most expensive souvenirs are going to be picked the most, therefore value is going to probably drop. Also, you get to choose a graffiti that you get for like unlimited for the tournament and um, a team flare in Steam Chat. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for me. Hopefully, you guys... Um, learned something from this hopefully I guided you in some way shape or form if I fail you I'm sorry not really but I'm sorry and uh, if you get all of them right because of me then you're welcome so guys thanks for watching if you liked it make sure you like and comment as it the channel and I'll see you guys later God bless and goodbye